All right, so just so you guys know, you could get the X-Lock discs. I have two right here. Uh, I filmed this after I filmed the video. You cannot swap out the discs when it comes to this type of grinder. You have to use the X-Lock disc for this tool. All right, so which I do think that's a downfall because I do think that if you need to uh, buy a specific disc to use this and you're in a situation where you need to use a different grinder because you're out of battery or whatever, th that sort of sucks. But this tool is brand new to this country, but it is not brand new itself. This tool was already out uh, in a different country back in the middle of 2020, just like the Makita 40 volt. So the Makita 40 volt tools are not new. We just, America just doesn't have them yet. So when I get the Makita 40 volt tools and do a video on them, they are not going to be new tools at all. They, they're, they're, they've been out. You could have bought, you could have bought them like a year already. You could get them over on eBay for about $450 plus like an additional $70 for shipping, but you are able to buy the tools, but it's from a different country. So this tool is brand new to America, but it is not new itself. So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the brand new Makita angle grinder that has a paddle switch. Now this, I just saw these at the Home Depot, they are having a sale right now. Uh, I think it is if you buy this version or the other version, you get 50% off a 5 amp hour battery or a charger and a 5 amp hour battery. I, I, uh, I'll post the picture of it right now, I forgot which one it actually was. So yeah, so this is the brand new X-Lock. At least I think this is brand new because I've done a lot of uh, searching for grinders and this is my first time actually seeing this. So we are going to unbox this, test this out and see how this is like because I actually have a task to do. Alrighty, and I, I saw this at the store. It looks like a bad man pajama, so I had to get it. The model number for this is XAG26Z and this is tool only. It, I believe it does come with a couple of discs. And we're going to find, that, find out what exactly comes with this. And the reason why I love this is because this is not an angled battery position. This is straight, so you could actually keep it upright uh, sitting on the battery. All right, so this is the x -Lock Quick Change System. Easy click and tool release for toolless wheel change. AFT technology turns the motor off uh, if the wheel rotation suddenly stops, which is good, so it doesn't wear out the motor. Uh, electric brake stops with wheel in two seconds. We're going to test that out. Nikita's three-year warranty. Lithium-ion tool and battery. And so, yes, this is a four and a half inch to five inch disc. Uh, no low speed is 8,500 RPM. Spin type, X-Lock. Uh, this is overall length of 14 and three quarter inches. And 5.99 uh, pounds. Almost six pounds, so... So yes, yeah, so let's unbox this and see what this is actually like. Perfect. Alrighty, so it does come with two discs. We're gonna test this out. This is a five inch disc. Uh, five by seven eighths. So yeah, we're gonna test that out. And then we also got uh, grinding wheel, which is also five inches. Good, we're gonna test it out. And I also did get four and a half inches. So we're gonna test out the four and the five. All right, of course, uh, instructions. Make sure you read those. Does come with, I like this. This does come with two different sized uh, shields. Both are metal, which I like that. Both are metal. Gotta love that. You'll feel a lot more protected if you have metal. Got the handle. And then the tool itself. Then after that, the box is empty. That goes to recycling. All right, but let's check this bad man pajama out. Just do that. This, this, thing is a, this thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. So that is the quick the X-Lock. I like that. Is the, I'm hoping that it's a little good. I'm, I was worried about that. The 
handle is at a little angle because recently I've been spoiled by uh, having the handle at an angle instead of straight because as you can see that my uh, Hilti is at an angle as well so now I have two that are at an angle which I'm extremely happy about that all right so let's put a, a shield on we are going to do the five inch okay so when you put the uh when you put the the shield on you got to push that in then you're good to go when you rotate it you push you just push down i like that that's good you do have to push the uh, that in though for it to uh, so yeah, I like that you just rotate it then. And as you push down then, as soon as you're locked into place, then you're good to go. That's actually nice, I like that feature. All right, so this is a two-step. So what you do is you push on that, then you lift up. Now you're able to put it on. I see what happened. There we go, then you lock it into place. All right, so what you do, one more time, you push that in, lift this up. That brings in the two. That brings in those two. And you, you can hold it there. You don't need a hang on to that anymore because that's locked into place. Then, just like that, and it's locked into place. All right, let's see what this can do. I feel like what I should do first, yeah, I'm gonna do that first. Ooh, when you do that, uh, that's, that's nice. You don't even have to touch that to take that out. It just flat out comes out. Let's do this first. Let's smooth this stuff out first. What's my battery at? Battery life is at three bars. And let's switch back to the cutting wheel. See, like I said, I like it's you're probably blurry, but don't even have to touch the touch the disc to change it. I like that. Just like that, that's done. Battery life is still at three bars. That's one. 
Let's cut off the other one. Now let's see what that did. There we go. Got it. Yeah, it's hot still. A little hot still. Bam. Done. Alrighty, so now let's test out the grinder. And like I said, what I love about this, this is fantastic. That's great. That seriously, that seriously is awesome. I love that design. Then just put it in place. Done. A little bit more right here. A little bit more. Good. Now let's uh, let's do one more. That's I love this. Where is that wheel? Ooh. All right, so for this, are you required to use the Makita X-Lock to even use this tool? Could you use different types of your traditional uh, angle grinder discs? Or are you required to use this? Let's find out. So already, that's a disappointment. Uh, after sc scouring the internet for a little bit, I could not find anything to where that you could actually use a regular disc with the X-Lock. All right, so this is, the, now just so you guys know, this tool is not new. It's just new to America. This tool uh, has actually uh, been out in Europe uh, for almost a year now. But we were successful today. We did get the two uh, remaining bolts out. I was hoping to get that smooth, but now I gotta go back to Home Depot and actually go get the proper X-Lock uh, disc. I'm assuming that they have it. I think that they do. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. More videos coming of these. More videos coming of these in the future. Like I said, we are doing welding. So angle grinders are gonna be a huge part of the channel. Uh, so, so yeah. And so if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>